I have, I have in fact, I have in fact forgiven because life I feel is too short to even remember and hold all the, hold on to those grudges. You were dating Disha Patni at one point of time. I was focused. I think you just have to put your mind and soul into it. You have to be focused. You can't say मेरे पास time नहीं है. There was this huge amount of success that just came by that year. Uh, when Yari had come out, and not only to me but all of us, and we were enjoying. I mean, no matter how many drips or uh, whatever equation we had behind the set uh, in the Yari team itself. Hi, Park. Welcome to Pink Hi. Villa. How are you? Yes, I am good. How are you? I am fine. First of all, congratulations that you are a <laughs> part you. of such a romantic music video. Because uh, I'm saying congratulations because you know people are. craving for such videos and it's getting a lot of popularity these days so of course if you are doing it it has to be a success because you have been the poster boy of um, romance for quite some time now but yes thank you so much and thank you so much for putting it that way and uh, yes it feels nice to come out with a new song especially when there is a uh, lot many music videos coming out simultaneously uh, too many in fact and people are getting to uh, listen to new new songs every single day uh irrespective unfortunate part is that the films are not coming most frequently because due to covid of course but yeah uh, there were music videos happening left right and center there were new songs coming so people were able to get to new songs uh beat punjabi beat hindi beat english so i'm i'm glad that, that i could contribute to that i want to ask you I was uh, researching on you and i was watching a few of your interviews and you mentioned that how you were a big guy and uh, you had to lose weight to basically big guy. Okay. <laughs> like big as in like I'm a still big guy. guy. <laughs> yeah, of course uh, you are. <laughs> yeah. you know. Um so I want to know that what was the difference between the perception of people towards you when you lost the weight and how did your perception towards yourself change once you lost the weight? Well, uh to start with a lot of perception changed in fact uh when I transformed myself into a completely different personality. and uh, uh a lot of people started giving me attention which i was not used to which i was not uh, ready to because i didn't know if i would get that sort of attention i never did it uh at first place to gain that attention my whole uh, uh, my whole objective was to lose weight because it was not good for my health it was nothing ke mujhe acha dikhna hai ya i have to look good for the society or for the people so i wanted to lose weight because i wanted to be fit and once i lost uh, my weight i the perception within me changed because i gained hell lot of confidence about myself and uh, you know as a human being also when you start getting attention or people walk up to you speak to you or compliment you that in a way builds a lot of confidence within you so that in a way changed a lot of many things like i became happy internally i started looking after food my health my lifestyle uh so the people around me used to praise me compliment me since college back then it was just not now but it was since college so yeah i was very much used to it and yeah i have seen a lot of people changing their perception and i'm like it, it it's it's funny when they speak about are tu tu pehle aisa tha aur ab to tu tere ko yaad hai tu aisa karta tha aise karta tha ab tu ne kya weight loss kar diya ya ye wo especially girls in fact like they message me like they never spoke to me and they messaged me after i lost weight and they like oh my god you are the same guy who lost weight hey hi yaar you looking so different and all so yeah i mean you tend to get such attention absolutely uh, but what really fascinates me is that maybe because of that it made you more empathetic because you know what what is like what is it to feel when you are not good looking or i do feel are... but uh, but also at the same time i don't have any sort of uh, to be honest i don't uh, i feel uh, if i can do it anyone can can so if uh, I, i did it i lost weight i was focused i think you just have to put your mind and soul into it you have to be focused you can't say mere paas time nahi hai you can't say ke are ha yaar mera thoda health issues hai trust me i'm not saying that you have to go for the six packs or four packs or whatever i'm just saying be fit lose lose the the kind of weight that you're not supposed to which is not good for your health so start off from running start off any activity start off from dancing or even zumba for that matter so i would rather recommend all the people who are on the heavier side to lose weight i don't say ki are yaar main us situation mein tha to mujhe thoda sa bura lagta hai main usme tha to i i can understand no i will very much motivate you in fact inspire you to work on yourself to look after your health 
राइट नाउ टॉकिंग अबाउट योर एक्टिंग ऑफ कोर्स यू नो कैसी है आर्या कैटिपुलटेड यू इनटू स्टारडम बट यू डिड टेक बेबी स्टेप्स इन द वर्ल्ड ऑफ टीवी वन बिफोर दैट आई वांट टू नो द होल एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ स्टारडम ऑन टीवी व्हिच यू एक्सपीरियंस्ड योरसेल्फ फर्स्ट हैंड बिकॉज़ बाय द टाइम यू केम इनटू द टेलीविजन वर्ल्ड आई थिंक द पीपल सॉर्ट ऑफ वर नॉट टेकिंग टेलीविजन uh stars uh so seriously because they were not fill- uh, they were not basically feeding the fantasy or the aspirations it was becoming more like what's happening inside uh, what's happening between people in families and all those things but when your sh- uh, show came kind of gave people an aspiration or a fantasy world i think that's why mm-hmm. it stood out and that's why it made you a star so what was that whole experience like when you first experienced stardom well the experience was in itself it's a long question actually and there's a long answer for it but to just cut it short uh <clears throat> experience was wonderful i mean i no one actually expected from the yaria team that the show will do wonders and the show will actually work so much that people still message us or tag us uh from the show they do, they edit all the clippings and all which is uh which is an achievement in itself like we we are uh, thankful enough and uh, we have uh too much of gratitude towards the show because the show has given so much to all of us not only me and yes you are right the show stood out because it had its own uh pure purity and chemistry and love story that i don't think you will get to see on other shows it was more like a very modern college based love story where the teenagers could fall for it uh, especially on mtv so i feel it all covered up it was different from other shows it was nice vibrant it had its own music charm it had its own chemistry and uh, uh coming back to your stardom question uh i remember i uh there was there was this huge amount of success that just came by that year uh, when yaria had come out and not only to me but all of us and we were enjoying i mean no matter how many drifts or uh, whatever equation we had behind the set uh, in the yaria team itself but when we used to see the results from our people who used to watch the show we used to be mentally satisfied uh ke yes we are on the right track at least our work is being appreciated everywhere and we used to be glad about it because we eventually we are actors and eventually we want that only to happen appreciation right right now talking about your music video so of course this is also a romantic track and um, um mm. i just want to know basically for people uh, you know romance is the most wanted sort of emotion that they want to watch on um you know on their TVs or the, or on in films but how difficult or how easy was it for you to portray romance initially because a lot of actors say that you know it was initially a little awkward because you're you know, holding hands with somebody that you might not know or you might not uh, like so did you have uh, any of those uh, inhibitions like uh, like what is it like to Oh, no portrait. it's just it's just it's just while portraying such emotions or uh, romantic scenes i really want to make sure that the actress or the actor who i'm working with uh, should be comfortable uh, because to make her comfort comfortable is very much important so i kind of open up i break the ice by having conversations first because we want to just at least get to know each other obviously that's not a very natural thing to just randomly walk up to a person and just act as if they're you've been in love with that person since 10 years that's not possible so you'll have to build some sort of chemistry you'll have to get to know that person uh you have to get to know the character spend some time with that person so yeah i mean that is very important and uh it, it's all about uh, your comfort level and uh, i can go all in uh if my co-actor wants me to go all in or if the director wants me to go in especially the director demands i obviously i always listen to what the director tells us in front of both of us and that's how we go right um you know coming to your personal life a lot of my friends are your fans and they even have told me that uh, you were once roaming around in pune and how they met you and uh, you were so kind to them you took pictures and you were very down to earth uh you know your fans have stood by you in the most difficult times right like uh, like i'm sure you must be getting all the messages and love from your fans in the worst of your moments but i want to ask have you forgiven those people who put you um in a controversy or like in a um, like in your bad uh, phase basically i have i have in fact i have in fact forgiven because life i feel is too short to even remember and hold all the hold on to those grudges and uh, you you want to do too much in your life you are very uh, uh i would say i mean say full of ambitions so if 
you have to achieve so much you can't keep small grudges or you can't keep small things in your mind and just get stuck and just just want to take avenge something or revenge take revenge something for something it doesn't make sense i'm not that kind of a person uh, i will just uh, work on myself be positive and uh, i'm sure that there are tons of people who are looking up to me who are uh, getting inspired from me every single day so i don't want to put them down i want to i don't want to put them down by my ne- own negativity or any sort of thing that is bothering me i would rather uh, motivate them in each and everything uh, i can be it life be it uh, how to live with it be it friendship be it relationship so everything so i don't think i can just hold on to anything uh, i'm too focused on my work right now to just uh, uh, get be bothered about uh, by anything you know i have to tell you this uh, two of my friends who belong to the lgbtq community say that yes we know that you know a part has like part uh, parts controversy is all cleared up and everything but we have to thank him that whatever the controversy was he never panic like oh my god how can i be termed or how can i be called like from the community when i'm not the way you paid respect to the community by just being chill about it and of course the truth came out even people came in support of you i think they they really wanted me to convey that message that thank you for so just keeping you. that respect thank you so much thank you so much i i genuinely feel that no matter irrespective where you come from uh, you are human after all more than anything more than what are your preferences or anything of that matter your emotions are important you are a human your feelings are important so i have a lot of my friends from this industry uh, uh, and they are very sweet they are they are genuinely humble and they are so pure by heart and uh, and it's it's fully entertaining in fact i love hanging around with them they are so nice and kind so thank you so much for conveying this message to me yeah thank you so much Yeah, talking about your acting career now you are doing a web series and of course yeah. uh, see it's it's a new medium as in like you know there was this thing uh, that tv and films but this is somewhere mm. the middle ground how easy or mm. difficult was it for you to fit into the schedules or like the way it is uh, being shot well uh, to start with at the start i was shooting kasauti and hero at the same time so that was very difficult for me because here i am where i'm shooting tv very quick very fast and here i see a similar day i go on the sets of hero and i shoot where the where only one scene is happening throughout the day so that is very slow so i could not adjust initially but when i got out of kasauti that's the time i could really focus on the web show completely and then i got the hang of it and uh, the good part was i as to remember the director told me that you don't come you don't come across as a person who's coming from television because the acting over there is some sort of different yeah. uh, as compared to web it's more web is more realistic so i always made sure that whatever i did on even on television was very real so uh, yes at the start i faced some issues but later on i was very comfortable and now i'm looking forward for more of realistic approaches through web shows yeah you know i'm um, talking about uh, your dating life i want to know that does it become difficult to date like common people who are not in the film industry because they might be having this perception that you might be like uh, anurag from kasauti zindagi ke or they were they might be expecting you to be so romantic uh, or uh, you know like be that character of kesi ya yaar so does it become difficult no actually i would rather not date someone who is actually expecting me to be someone from the character I would actually rather date someone who would know me in and out, who would know me as Par Samdhan, and not someone who she has seen as a character. Obviously, because that's not that's not me. That's a character. That's a, that's me being an actor. I can't uh, be with someone who actually wants me to be that person. So, right. but apart from that, I would rather. It's it's actually a tough call. It actually takes time because sometimes you you know you at the end of the day you want to know whether that person wants to know the real you or just because you are some sort of. Uh, kind of famous or someone or you know you don't know so i that's why i said i really pinpoint all the small things i observe uh, people's uh, behavior the person's behavior i want to see how that person comes out in all the goods and bads and how, and will she be able to stand by me so yeah i mean that is very much important for me Yeah, even Ian Summer Holder from the Vampire Diaries stated that you know sometimes people <laughs> expect me to be like Damon in real life, especially women, and I'm like, yeah. I'm not that. <laughs> so yeah, that's why. That's why uh, I asked that question. Okay, uh, so yeah. I have to play a game with you. So there are like three rumors that are there out, out in the world of internet, 
and you have to accept or deny whether those are true or not and if you don't want to answer it's completely up to you it's your call fine uh, so the first rumor is that you had huge fights with Neeti Taylor while shooting for Kaisi Ayarya true or false ah uh, false okay uh, the second uh. one <laughs> the second one is that you are very very close friends with Erica like uh. she's one of your best friends uh, i wouldn't say that so yeah false okay third you were dating disha patni at one point of time that i would not like to answer cool thank you part uh, and all the best for your you. future endeavors thank you sakshi thank you have a nice day hello have a nice day you too bye